to all the dispossessed youth of Africa for perpetuation of communion with ancestral spirits through the fight for African freedom and in the firm faith that the dead, the living and the unborn will unite to build the destroyed shrines. Hello and welcome, beloveds, to another special message from the Ancient Ones. I really do pray that you are well in all your ways, beloveds, and you're assimilating now, acclimatizing to your own narrative, to your own story, to your own reality beloveds because it's getting crazy out there and remember i told you they're literally fusing fiction with non-fiction uh because they don't want you to see the truth and that's the main message from the ancient ones today i was going to say the special ones they really are special the main message from the ancient ones beloveds is that don't allow anybody to control your truth don't allow anybody to tell you what the truth is, beloved. And that is your liberation lies. Remember they say the truth shall make you free because the truth expands who you are. You see, lies try and put you into a square or a bubble or a circle and limit your experience. And so anyone who is giving you the stories of how you were born, of who your people are, of, of just the world who is writing world history, his story, it literally is his story. It's not our collective experience. But because we've all been put and limited and, and kind of pegged, imprisoned in his story, that's the true original magic, history. That's the true original magic. And we kind of got hexed into his narrative. And now he determines what is truth and what is fiction and, you know, what you can believe and what you can't. And that's why you have to. It is your utmost responsibility, beloveds, to take your truth into your own hands and not allow anybody to, you know, determine your truth for us. And you see, there's another spell that was put on our people. And it's called uh, the spell of we don't hide something in a book and black people won't read it. Oh, of course, because we are a very intuitive people. We know. We're not believers, be beloveds. We're knowers. And losing our power was going from knowing to believing. And believing is now where you've handed over your truth to uh, someone else. You've handed over your experience, what you think reality is to someone else. And then if they're of lower spiritual rank than you, which is what the entities that are controlling this world are, then you are now trapped in their lower ranked experience, like in, in only what they can see. Because you see, Babylon can't believe in certain things that are, you know are true or that are true for you because they can't experience them. So in order for Babylon to penetrate your world, to control you and to be able to energetically feed on all of us for so long, they had to mentally colonize us. They had to limit and like reduce the story to its like most lowest, most basic form, beloveds. That was the only way. And so claiming our freedom or reclaiming our freedom is about reclaiming our truth. And if you look at everything that's happening, especially like the biggest war amongst our people is over who, what the truth is. And we have, you know, and everyone has their version of truth. And those ones who are in the deepest psychosis will want to tell you that the, your, your truth is not your truth. Like we don't even respect other people's truth because Babylon, they have to have you in his story in order to control you. If you're not in his story, then you can't be a victim of their shenanigans. You can't be a participant of the, whether blindly or knowingly of their shenanigans. And that's why having one global narrative was one of the main missions of the, the, the Babylon magicians is to create this one story that everyone would have to be in and then to kind of construct their world from this story 
and then to totally discredit your knowingness, your natural knowing, to totally discredit your inner world by putting you so much in the outer world that your inner world, you don't even, many don't even know their inner world is real. Like their outer world is more real than their inner world. And yet the inner world is actually more real than the outer world, beloveds. This is just the experience, but the real art of creation happens in here and in here and collectively. But in this time, beloveds, the great shaking that is going to happen across the world is going to be the shaking of his story, which already has been like dismantling and falling apart. But we're going to really see it start to fall apart in the seasons and times to come. And for those who are not ready, what Bam Babylon is going to do is they're going to rip and totally like, I mean, Babylon is falling. So their story is already gone. But they are literally also creating like a zero point where they're trying to rewrite history again. And you'll find it, beloveds, like if you go online, there's stories. I was actually talking about this with my editor where there's stories that I did in 2018 and 2019 exposing what Babylon was doing in Africa and the kind of neocolonization things they were doing. And if you go back now and try and find articles related to those stories, it's like they've been wiped. And that is what is happening right now, beloveds, in this age of censorship. That's why I'm saying get your books, get your, get your documents, get your information now so that you can make sure that your children's truth remains expanded. Because they're trying to now redirect truth because there's such an explosion of information. You know, the whole internet and the world wide web has, had, is, has been like a double-edged sword. It's increased the, number, the amount of like control they have on the group consciousness. But it's also triggered so many people's individual awakening. And what they fear the most is that this individual awakening will reach a certain tipping point which will affect humanity. And you see, with the awakening, as I told you guys, beloveds, it's like if you're going to vote, the more awakened you are, the more, the more people your vote represents. So for the unawakened, it's like one man, one vote. But there are people who have done the work, who their voice, their words, their utterances represent a billion voices of the common sheeple represent a million voices. They have the same impact as a million voices. And that should show you just how much they have reduced our voices, people's power, by reducing your truth. Your power is taken away when your truth is taken away. Because your power operates through what you know. If you'd, and that's where the free will is, beloveds. The free will is what, in, in, in what you know. I don't even want to say in what you believe because now people have de descended to that level. They've lowered themselves. The truth is in what you know. Your power lies in what you know. From what you know, by expanding what you know, you expand your experiences. So those people who believe that their ancestors are wicked, their ancestors are this, their ancestors are that, their ancestors did this and that, will have a very limited experience compared to those who are working with their ancestors. And there's different level ancestors. That's what I've also realized. So I definitely will do a separate show on that. But it totally changes the reality of experience, the manifestation, the kind of protection that someone has. So you see, when, you, so when you're, reject, you're rejecting a certain dimension of truth, when you say your ancestors are like this or are like that, and so your experience of reality is way more limited to mine, where I'm aware of my spiritual team, the ascended masters, the great guardians that are working with me. And so I can do more because of this expanded knowing of reality. So your death will come, beloveds, through your limited knowledge. The less you know, the more you give over your truth to someone else to tell you, to dictate to you what truth is, the smaller your world becomes. And eventually, you'll really find yourself in like a prison hole. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. 
Welcome back, beloveds, uh, to a special message from the Ancient One. Special shout out, of course, to our Patreon family. We appreciate, love you so much. We just shared like an awesome, an epic book there uh, for our Patreon family. So definitely consider joining us for, you know, as little as $2 a month. It's a beautiful community on there. But beloveds, the great message today is don't, uh, don't hand over your truth to anybody. Don't allow anyone to, to tell you what truth is or what your truth is because then they are you're giving someone else control over your life you're giving them you know you're allowing them to determine the parameters of your experience because the reason that Africa is where it is the reason that our people are where they are is purely because of the narrative and yes it's a narrative that was violently beaten into us that was violent you know raped beaten uh every nasty thing you can imagine happened and there was also a lot of destruction there was literally a war beloveds you know a lot of people don't realize that the same kind of devastation that happened in the divided states where most of the native you know our native american family lost their lives it's those the same kind of destruction here but what happened is they needed our people for energy to to run their empire here so what they did is there was like a holocaust of our teachers of our spiritualists of our medicine men and women of our you know of our royal families but we don't die we multiply so that's something they didn't also figure out. And, and they hadn't figured out that we're spiritual beings having this human experience. So even if they took us out, we could always come back. And if we reached a certain level of truth, we could start to awaken and put, and, and, and if we had been an ancient teacher that they took out, we could literally come back and become that ancient teacher now and mess up everything. Which is why they're trying to limit who gets in and out with the double Big Mac. And then they've limited the, his story so that you can only operate with this. So certain magic won't happen because people don't believe it. So they, they'll, they won't even see it, they'll reject it. And as I was saying before the break, that's where the free will is. The free will isn't, you know, do I get high or do I not get high tonight? That's not the free will. Do I choose this path or do I choose that path? No. The real free will is what is my truth? Because that is what will determine what comes into your life, what you experience, and what you're able to do. And that, you see, and that's where they've messed with our free will, beloveds. By feeding us a certain story that so many people buy into, that is so limited. And because they buy into it, it literally blocks them from their gifts, from their powers, from their destiny, from their mission. And so the greatest thing you can do, beloveds, is discover your truth, discover the foundation of your truth, and then expand that truth. Even if you're doing it in the space of your own life, it will have a massive impact on the rest of our people, beloveds. Because what we're trying to change is the melanated group consciousness. Yes, there, we need to also impact the global group consciousness, but as the rightful rulers, our focus right now is the melanated group consciousness, which has been squeezed and shut down, and that is the real imprisonment. We don't even know ourselves. So people can tell us all these beliefs and myths about who we are. And then so much has been overwritten, rewritten, all with magic, beloved. It's all with spells. It's not just done like that. But the, the mental, the level of mental magic and everything. And then people have been made to see the truth as the enemy. So the truth has been demonized. And so anyone who's a truth teller, People will now think is a demon when the real demon is a person who's talking, who's, who's telling you to limit your truth, who's treating you like a kindergarten child, like you can't figure out for yourself whether Jesus existed or not. The reason I always bring up that debate and many others is so you can find out your truth. 
Don't now leave that, you know, leave what Babylon told you and come and enter my truth. No, discover your truth for yourself. Because that's where your power lies. And so for me, I'm just trying to expand your truth. Whatever that may look like, whatever I ask. And that's actually, someone picked this up one day. That's why I used to say stories for other days. Stories for other days means most of that information, it will either be censored it, or it's, too ab it's above many people's levels. So if you feel like it triggered something, you need to go and do your research. And it's getting even trickier now because less information is, you know, being available. They're recycling the information. They're, they're whitewashing the information like they did to our ancestors before and before and before. Because they always have to write this story again and again and again. It never lasts. You know, falsehoods don't last. Belief doesn't last, beloveds. It's only knowing that is forever. And knowing is our heritage. So reclaim your knowing by putting aside those, those beliefs and actually using this and this to figure out what's really going on. You see, they got us thinking that we need to do these big things to change our lives when literally you could sit in your room and shift here and the day you walk out of that room, reality will be totally different. Tuko pamoja.